A Lesson for All, daily at 6 a.m. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Alpha. I am Julianne Marston-Clark and the topic of today's lesson is Jesus, the perfect offering. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that once more we have an opportunity to share your words. As your words go forth, may we open our hearts to accept the messages we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Our scripture passages of focus today are Hebrews 7 verse 27 and Hebrews 10 verse 10. So what are these verses telling us about the offering that Jesus makes? Paul tells us the reason there were so many priests or religious leaders from the family group of Levi was because they died and could not go on with their work. The priests needed to offer sacrifices, and these are animal sacrifices, day after day, as we see in Hebrews 7, verse 27. And they also had a special offering, a one-time offering, every year. These gifts and offering, they cannot make a person's heart clean to worship God. But Jesus is so much better than the priests. Jesus needed to offer himself only one time, and that offering was enough for all time, as we see in Hebrews 10, verse 10, and 12 to 14. His offering makes our hearts clean. His offering puts away our sin, and it is also much better than the animal sacrifices because he is the son of God. When we look at Hebrews 10 verse 10, it says, By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Jesus did everything that God wanted him to do. So the offering of Jesus only happened one time, and that was enough for all time. And so this teaches us several important Bible truths. First one. The offering of Jesus is perfect. No one can offer a better gift. The priests, they offered sacrifices time and time again, but their gifts did not make us clean. If their gifts could have made us clean, then we would no longer feel the guilt of sin. They would have no need to give us more gifts. And then number two, all the different types of offerings in the Old Testament shows us Jesus on the cross. Jesus died to make us clean from sin, and he died to make us holy. He died so we can put away sin out of our lives. Before the priests from the family of Levi can come to God for the people, they must be made clean and holy. Now, we can come to God with bold faith and hope. We can serve God as royal priests because he makes us clean. Number three, the offering of Jesus gives us spiritual life too. The cross shows us the example that we must follow in our own lives. Paul invites us to look at Jesus on his cross and follow him. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, once more, we thank you that we have heard your words one more time. We thank you that Jesus is our ultimate sacrifice. And if we put our hearts and our minds and our souls in him, then he will make us clean. Continue to be with us, Lord, as we study your words. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Alpha. We look forward to sharing another episode with you tomorrow. Until then, may God bless you. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.